the Exynos 2100 versus Snapdragon 888. Here we go. I'm Rio Gian and welcome to the channel. Great news everyone, I guess, because Exynos is catching up to the Snapdragon chipset. Then again, Snapdragon is still better overall, so what is the difference? If you remember during the time of the Note 9, this was the same thing. They say the CPU is better, but the GPU is worse, so overall the Snapdragon is better. Then people start making more comparison, and it turns out the camera and the battery on the Snapdragon is better as well, making it the better overall choice when it comes to a Samsung flagship. Fast forward to 2021 with the S21 and it's pretty much the same thing. So why are people excited about this? I'm pretty sure that most of us by that I mean people that watch these comparison videos and wanted to make the most of the money that you spend are waiting on the Exynos version with the AMD GPU. Samsung has been hyping that up and I, like most of you, are waiting to see the performance figures before making the purchase. I'm sure the Exynos 2100 is a great chipset, like other Exynos chipset if there is no comparison when it comes to stacking it up against Snapdragon. And let's not forget, people in the Exynos region are paying more money than people in the Snapdragon region. So how is this fair? To be honest, if you're paying more money for something, I think common sense would say you want that thing to be better, hence you pay more money for it. So the fact that Exynos is catching up to the Snapdragon and people are excited kind of boggles my mind because it's catching up, it's not beating it. If I was paying more money for the phone, I would expect the phone to beat the version that's cheaper. I don't think I'm crazy for thinking something like that. So this is kind of a food for thought when it comes to the Exynos chipset with the AMD GPU coming out. For some reason, I think it might just be equal or a little bit behind. I'm sure that people at Qualcomm, the makers of Snapdragon chipset, knew the upcoming Exynos chipset. So I'm pretty sure they are preparing for it. It's either that they work on a different market and they don't care. One of the things that Samsung wants to do is fight Qualcomm to have their chipset be on other devices. So if this rumor is true, then I'm pretty sure Qualcomm is going to set up their game to make sure that the Snapdragon chipset remains on top. I know back then during the X6 days, the Exynos chipset was better, but that's kind of over now. Then again, people are hoping that those days would come back. So based on the stuff that I know, I think Qualcomm is prepared for this, and I'm pretty sure they are cooking up something to defeat the eventual Exynos XAMD chipset, but that's my theory. If you know more information, you want to share them, comment down below, let me know. If you're new, click subscribe, thumbs up, click the bell for more content. Content. You guys stay awesome.